So this video is, can I still exercise with a fit? What's safe and what's not? Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Lee, an electrophysiologist who specializes in treating atrial fibrillation. And this is one of the most common and misunderstood questions I get from patients. Can I still exercise if I'm in an episode of atrial fibrillation? If you've been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, it's normal to feel uncertain, maybe even scared about how much activity is safe. Some patients worry that exercise could trigger an episode. Others have been told to take it easy or worse, avoid activity altogether. And then there's the fear, what if I push too hard and something bad happens? I don't know. Today, I'll walk you through whether exercise is safe with atrial fibrillation, what types of workouts are helpful versus risky, how to listen to your body, and how exercise can actually be part of your treatment plan. So let's start with the big question. Is it safe to exercise with AFib? The answer to that is a resounding yes in most cases. It's not only safe, but usually it's beneficial. Multiple studies have shown that moderate exercise improves symptoms, lowers your overall AFib burden, meaning the amount of time you spend in AFib, reduces recurrences, and improves your overall quality of life. In fact, regular physical activity reduces inflammation, improves your heart rate control, lowers blood pressure, helps with weight loss, and improves your cardiovascular fitness, which makes the heart more efficient. That said, not all exercise is created equal, and there are important caveats depending on your individual situation. So what types of exercises are best? If you're an AFib or recovering from it, aim for low to moderate intensity exercise. This can include brisk walking, light jogging, biking, swimming, elliptical or rowing, gentle strength training, yoga or tai chi. The sweet spot is typically about 150 minutes, give or take, which is about three hours per week of moderate aerobic activity. Aerobic, not anaerobic. That's where you're exercising your heart, not just your muscles. Now, research has shown that people who engage in regular aerobic exercise actually have fewer episodes of AFib better symptom control, and in some cases, they can actually cause some reverse atrial remodeling, meaning that the walls of the heart, the atria, actually heal a little bit, shrink a little bit, and that can actually reverse a little bit your amount of atrial fibrillation. What about interval training? Interval training, or short bursts of exertion with recovery periods, can also be helpful if you're under proper supervision. But here's the key. You need to listen to your body. If you feel dizzy, short of breath, lightheaded, or extremely fatigued, stop. Pushing through the symptoms is not heroic, it's actually very risky. So what types of exercises should you avoid? Well, certain situations call for more caution, such as high intensity endurance training, Ironman triathlons, ultra marathons, chronic high volume cardiovascular exercise can actually increase atrial fibrillation risk in some people especially men over 50 years old. Years of excessive endurance training, like long distance runners or cyclists, can lead to atrial enlargement and dilation of or stretch of the walls of the atrium that increases vagal tone and causes increased electrical remodeling, which ironically actually makes AFib development more likely. Heavy straining or bearing down, what we call the Valsalva man maneuver, very heavy weightlifting or breath holding during lifts can actually raise pressures inside your intrathoracic or chest area and provoke rhythm instability, causing atrial fibrillation in some individuals. Exercising while uncontrolled or in symptomatic atrial fibrillation. If you're in a very rapid episode of atrial fibrillation and you feel unwell during exercise, you need to stop immediately and notify your doctor. And then exercising being in a dehydrated or overheated conditions. If you're losing sodium, potassium, if you have electrolyte shifts from sweating or dehydration, or you have heat stress, all of these things can trigger atrial fibrillation episodes. So hydration and the exercise conditions do actually matter. So bottom line, should I exercise during an eighth of episode? Well, it depends on your symptoms. 
If you're in atrial fibrillation and you feel relatively stable with a controlled heart rate and no chest pain or dizziness, light activity may be okay. But if your heart rate is very rapid, you feel lightheaded, you feel weak, or your AFib just started and you're unsure how long it's gonna go for and how you're gonna respond, then it's best to pause and contact your doctor if necessary. In general though, exercising with AFib is safest when you're on medications to slow down or keep slower your AFib rate, your AFib has been present before and you're familiar with your response, or you're not having significant symptoms. So can exercise help prevent or reverse atrial fibrillation? Absolutely. In patients with early stage paroxysmal or early middle stage persistent atrial fibrillation, studies have shown that losing weight, improving fitness, and exercising regularly can dramatically reduce your AFib burden or the amount of time that you go into AFib, and in some cases can eliminate episodes completely altogether. One landmark study called the CardioFit study found that patients who improved their fitness by even one metabolic equivalent which is our measure of how strong and healthy you are and how much activity you can do, these people saw a 20% reduction in AFib recurrence. So yes, exercise is not just safe, it can be part of the cure. So can you exercise with AFib? Yes, in most cases, exercise is not only safe, it's one of the best things you can do for your heart and your future, but it has to be the right kind of exercise done in the right way with a plan tailored to your condition. If you're unsure about what's safe for you, or if you've been stuck in fear, avoiding movement because of your AFib diagnosis, I offer second opinion consults where we create a custom rhythm and activity plan based on your unique case. Follow the link in the description below for more information. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're gonna find more resources and also can follow me on social media.